Welcome everyone. Welcome to Book Date with you, episode 48, the platform where we recommend the best book to you. And and welcome to join um Joy's birthday party today. <laughs> no, today is Joy's uh, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Is it and, yeah. And today we have a special guest, uh, Samantha with us. Hi, hi everyone. Okay, let me do uh, read to you some of the very short uh, introduction about Samantha, all right? So, Samantha Tang is a development consultant for Subway Malaysia. She is the industry top leader when it comes to the business franchise. She leads the business development for Northern region and the East Coast region. She's also helping for the leasing management and jumping into negotiation whenever her franchisee needs her. So bringing her best experience and also her expertise, Samantha is also the chapter lead for Google Business Group, Joshown Finan, and GBG Joshown is a community of business professionals sharing knowledge about Google Web Technologies for business success. Collaborating and learning from each other helps everyone achieve more. That's Samantha. Thank Hi. you, Samantha. Oh, thank you for joining us. Happy to be here today. Yeah, so we are a little bit casual today. So. Okay, today we are going to talk about this book, um, The 5 AM Club by Robin Sharma. So maybe I'll give a little background about uh, um, Robin Sharma. So he is a global respected human humanitarian and is considered one of the most uh, top leadership and personal organizations uh, advisors. So he has many clients, including billionaires, you know, uh, uh, superstars and many uh, companies. Um, I think he's best known for this book, The Fight and Club, and also other books like uh, The Leader Have No Title. This is her look, right? <laughs> and this book, yes, yeah, this book, uh, The Man Who Sought His Ferrari. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So today we are going to touch a little bit about this book. Yes. So let's start with this. Uh, before I jump to the question to ask Samantha, I would love to ask Gideon first. You know, he has a very special way to wake up. <laughs> when you wake up, how you wake up. And uh, today we are talking about 5 a.m. Club by Robin Sharma. Definitely he wants us to really have a very good start in the morning. And uh, winning starts at your beginning, at your first hour is definitely you can master your life. So he didn't share with us. So, so this book, I think one of the main principles is the 20, 20, 20 rules. Um, and the first 20 minutes is um, how to move. So how to make myself, you know, make, wake up and do exercise is I, I, I practice two, two kind of way. So the, the first way is, you know, when I open my eyes, I have to make sure that um, I put my feet on the ground immediately. So don't let your mind, your, your logical mind think about other things like, you know, how warm is your bed? <laughs> how cold is the, the outside, you know, to, to go out or anything. So it, because when, when things come to your mind, you will have fine excuse not to wake up. Um, and the second way I, I, I did, I, I make myself wake up is um, the, the night before, I will prepare all my sport wear or your, your sport watch to get or put, putting aside. Because when you know that you already prepare, you, you tend to want to wake up. <laughs> so this is what I, I, I do, this do, this do it. Hope this can help. And, and, and Samantha, how about you? Uh, how, what is the section of this book that you know, touch your heart a lot? Um, to me, it will be the gratefulness and calmness because uh, of course, uh, every day we wake up, we need to be grateful that we still can wake up for the day. And comes is that there's so many things, you know, before you start to reply all your messages, before you start talking to people around you, or even, read, even start your laptop to start your work of the day. So you need to be calm. And what I do is actually, I have a list of to-do things sorted by priorities <clears throat> so that I know, okay, in this period of our, what kind of work I need to get it done? You know, like there's a list for me for, to, to get my job done. Yeah. Mm. Oh, very, I love it that about to do list. Mm. Because some, sometimes I found that people, they are somehow not so much into to, 
writing down the to-do list like us. We all, including Gideon, I know he has a to-do list sorted out according to the priority. So what to do and then what is the next step? I'm just very curious to know about your thoughts about why you want to have a to-do list. I mean, to help to understand better so that other people will take action to do the to-do list. Maybe because I'm quite... Yes, I will have I will have a list so that I won't miss out things that I need to get it done for that day. Say, for example, if I need to rework back for the uh, franchisee tenancy agreement, I need to allocate time to really focus on to zoom in, to focus to read, you know, all the fine lines, the terms and condition to make sure that my franchisee is actually protected when they sign uh, either new tenancy agreement or renewal tenancy agreement. So I need to find the calm hour. Usually, if I need to do that, right, I will mm. try to wake up at 4.30 in the morning so that it's so peaceful that no one can text you or to reach out to you at that time. But uh, according to Robin Sharma, it's 5 a.m., right? So to me, uh, 4.30 a.m. work best. I know everyone is like, wow, she wake up at 4.30. Uh, maybe it's hard for you, but just find the time that you you find it very calm, peaceful for you to start the day. Yeah, it's different for everyone. Yeah, I do agree. Bring your morning, your uh, elevate your life. Yeah, I mean the the mo- I, I when I try to wake up at because I wake up only at six, like because of my work. Six I find that this hour, enough. yeah, <laughs> I find that this hour is the hour where no one disturb you. Really, you mm. got the peace of mind. Yeah, you can do a lot of planning. That's why I very admire to those people that can. I mean, as I've always mentioned, sleep, everyone have a very different hour, you know, to sleep. So I need seven hours. But some people, they actually do not need to sleep that much. So they can have a lot more time to do whatever they want to do. That's always my, you know, really admire to those people that have all these uh, chances to, to do all this. Okay, I also want to love to ask Samantha you about uh, just now you mentioned about gratefulness, right? Mm. That you learn from Robin Sharma in this book. So, how you practice your gratitude moment, especially in the morning? I usually uh, say a little prayers in my heart before I wake up. Like for the moment the alarm rings, then you wake up, then just say a little prayer. That sharp moment, you, you don't have to like, you know, take an hour for that, things like that. Just a few minutes or a few seconds, just say a little prayers, mm-hmm. uh, the grateful prayers, then after that, you just begin your day. It helps me to start my day well. So, yes, agree so much because I do it at the same time as well. When I wake up, the first ever thing is the gratitude moment that I spent. Mm-hmm. You know, like just, I do spend that how many minutes to do that, you know, I just spend like maybe 30 seconds. That 30 mm. seconds can really make a very, very big difference in my whole day through. That's why, yeah. So, uh, Samantha, when you practice your calmness or your gratitude moment, right, how do you see these two practice impact for the whole day? Like what you do in the morning, how impact yourself? Uh, it definitely helped me to prioritize the tasks that I need to complete first. And then I will, I will know that, okay, this thing can be wait. Although everything like seems very hectic, very important, very urgent, right? Everything like seems to needing your attention. But once you have the priority sort out, then you will know, okay, this one, put aside first. Sam, focus on this first. Zoom in or focus on this one. This, you know, like block out all the distraction. Then you can really produce a quality type of work. It's like... um. Everything, when everything needs your attention, try to have the clarity to focus on which one come first, which one need to be prioritized first. Yeah. I love so much when you say prior- prioritization. Mm. <laughs> this is one of the things that I share in Robin Sharma book as well. How mm. to prioritize whatever comes, those important things, but not always. There's so many things that capture our attention we will feel overwhelmed very easily mm. that's a tr- truth for nowadays from the social media from a family setting now most of us work from home mm-hmm. and also sometimes even though we are not working from home there are so many things 
we need to juggle together at the same time. Especially now, COVID-19 pandemic is in Malaysia. We are in Malaysia right now. Um, the case is increasing every single day. It's in the upper trend. So um, it has been very overwhelming to a lot of us as well. Hmm. Yeah, so let me share a little bit from my side about movement because Robin Sharma, if you remember that this yeah. book, he talked a lot on movement. All right, the first 20 minutes. Yes, the first 20 minutes. But I practice exercise as well, but I didn't do it in the first hour of my day. Mm. I am a big girl on bands of exercise and move my body, but I move in terms of stretching. Mm. I do it in the first hour of the, my morning by, by doing some stretching, but not the vigorous kind of exercise. So why we need to move our body? It comes a little bit to the science. So because our body will increase a lot of cortisol hormone when we are kind of, when we start in the early morning, automatically our body will have more and more cortisol. So when we move our body, we actually can lower down this stress hormone lower down a little bit not too high and then we have a dopamine and serotonin that can really like kick start our day it's like a dopamine rush that can really get you start of the day and one more thing about movement that a lot of people may not know just now samanda you mentioned about focus remember you talked about focus how our movement can bring us better focus is because of the this thing called bdnf it's called brain derived neurotrophic factor bdnf because this bdnf can help us to promote our our brain nerve cells meaning that it can help to really uh how would i say the survival of the nerve cells on our brain so when we can keep our brain as healthy as possible we will going to have better focus so this is a little bit science why movement, why the exercise can help us to keep us very, this BDMF also one of the factor that Robin Sharma mentioned in his book. So the next part we'll talk about learning. Yes, Samantha, normally what books, uh, maybe you can share with us like what are the books that you're reading right now? I have a few. <laughs> <laughs> I, sure I have a few, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So for me, I love to read books, and uh, this is the book I'm reading now. Mm. Read books. You know what is uh my birthday present from Gideon? Yeah, I got the, the birthday Gideon. present like, very early. So Atomic Habits is the book that I'm reading right now. Great book to go for because when early morning, when you capture some information, it's so great to start off your day, right? Because Robin Sharma always mentioned that we need to feed our mind with the right kind of information. It can be going to the audiobooks, you know, or listen to the audiobooks. For me, I love physical book. Physical book. Because you can smell the book, right? Yeah. And then you, can, <laughs> you can hold the book. Yes. People thought that we are crazy. For those people that love the physical book, mm -hmm. you literally can smell the book. It's so different. Especially you put on a bookshelf and say, oh, then you, you bring out the book, you know, then uh, that's the thing. Read some books, audio books or physical or even like video content, documentaries, like even some YouTube interview session to kickstart the day. That is like what Robin Sharma, the 20 minutes of the first hour of your day. So that's the little bit of my sharing in this part. So any questions from Gideon's side? Because I've been talking a lot. <laughs> no, I, I just want to say about this uh, practice. Um, maybe a lot of people think that they cannot wake up at this hour, but you mm. have to try. But inside the book, it, it actually says that you have to take like 66 days to, to make this uh, mm. a I habit. Mm. So, so, so don't give up. You know, if you fail one day, you know, try another day, try another day. Because I... I, I only dare to talk about this book after I you know really practice this for 66 days. Um, you know, so yeah, so, so don't give up. You, you can do it. So you took like 66 chun chun days to wake up 
at five. Ah, uh, sorry, at six yeah, a.m. Yeah, some of the day I miss up. That's why um, um I tell the audience because sometimes I, I really need to work mm, until like three to four a.m. Mm, in my work. Mm, 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 so I really can't wake up because it's not healthy also to wake up like six a.m. Mm, <laughs> like sleep mm, two hours. True, so true. so sometimes I miss. So I I have calendar and I you know keep my day like one two three until like you no know, on the ah. day sixty six. Ah, I know I miss this. <laughs> So you still wake up at six o'clock after we yes. finish the book now. Yes, yes. But yeah, it makes you uh, become a habit to you. Mm. You know, I'm the one that count the date. <laughs> so <laughs> count, count, count. Uh, Gideon, when is the time that we can share this book? Uh? Count, 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 count. Mm. Is it August? August, August. <laughs> Oh, come, come. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, then we, we ask you then that's the reason why Samantha will come to you. Uh, mm, what about yes, the, yes, the yes. play that can we set up on um, mid of August somewhere around this day? Mm-hmm. It's, it is ready. Mm. <laughs> that's the thing. Okay, so for those people that you know you are listening to us right now, this, this is a great book to go for. So go and check it out. Go to the bookstore or just order the audiobook to listen while you are having your first hour in the morning to read this book. Fantastic book for you to kickstart your day. And Samantha, I have a little question to you. Any words of encouragement to the audience that are listening to us right now? Words of encouragement. Okay, always listen to your body because not everyone are able to wake up at 5 a.m. or 4 30 a.m. or 6 a.m. So understand your body, how many hours of sleep that your body needs. You don't have to force yourself to wake up like so early if your body cannot take it. But of course, like uh, Jidian, what Jidian mentioned just now, it took like 66 days to make it the habit, right? So mm-hmm. try every day, like maybe, okay, first day wake up at 7. Mm-hmm. Uh, second day wake up at 6.30. And then the next day wake up at 6 and uh, things like that. Take it slowly. Always listen to your body and have enough rest. Yes, lovely. I love to talk about resting and also sleep. This is my favorite topic to talk about as well. So thank you so much, Samantha, for being our special invited guest today. And uh, definitely every one of us would love to stay safe and be healthy. That's why. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Bye. 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 B